Hey, hey, so today I want to discuss why she clarify. So as you guys know, I'm in a big, I'm a big fan of uh, Cheat Clock, and uh, it is almost two months that I'm starting to use uh, Cheat Clockify for customizing the terms for Cheat Clock. So I see a lot of value in this uh, tool, and uh, now I will gonna show you a few demos about uh, how to use the Cheat Clockify, uh, why to use the Cheat Clockify, and etc. So I did a, a small presentation. So let's have a look. Okay. So let's go. So the first question is that uh, why we don't use a traditional method, okay? So the first thing that it is, is that the traditional method, it is not easy. <laughs> why it is not easy? Because they use a MEC. Okay, that in the traditional method, they are using MVC. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure you guys are familiar with uh, MVC or MVVM, those kind of things. Back in the days that I was in my previous company, I used these kind of things. So it was a absolute pain. <laughs> so I prefer a uh, modern uh, approach, like for example, React or something like that. It is much, much easier. Okay. So the second thing that it is is that in terms of the styling, you have to go to their giant CSS and do the styling. It means that you have to do the CSS styling, and that is very painful <laughs> and very time consuming. So here is one of the examples. Uh, in later in this mind map, uh, later I will show you with you how to go uh, and see. Th there is a video that it explained if you want to do it in a uh, traditional way how you can do it so you, uh, you can go to that one and uh, check it out okay so the next thing okay so why so this one we just eliminate the traditional approach so now why Kikilakify? Uh, the main reason is that they support the react out of the shelf so it's in all the components they write is uh, react components so just you have to modify the react if you are familiar with react this one is a huge time saver okay Furthermore, since it's React, you can customize it with combining it with other, for example, uh, other uh, libraries, okay, UI libraries, for example, like Tailwind CSS. Uh, now I'm using a Tailwind CSS. Actually, I'm I'm building something on top of the Kikilakify, so it is uh, uh, later I show also in the demos what uh, I'm I'm customizing the Kikilakify for Tailwind CSS and Shatsia. Uh So you can later you can go and uh, take my gear. Top repository and for example merge it or we can look have a look or whatsoever or even contribute there. I would really appreciate that. But besides that, also you can use it MUI and bootstrap. Uh, from the thing that I see from their documentation, they are very heavy in uh, MUI. Okay, so it means that the originator is more in uh, in the favor of MUI. Okay. So testing and building is very easy. Man, this one <laughs> is a huge time server, okay? So in the traditional method, uh, building it, it was a nightmare, but now uh, both building it and testing it is easy. So let me show you how you can build the entire thing, okay? So this one is a project. If you uh, clone the Git, uh, the Kikilakify, this one would be the project structure. So with a simple uh, NPM ROM storybook, Uh, so if you go to something like login, you can easily get, for example, the all, all the storybooks. And when you do your changes, you can immediately see what's going on. Okay, but for example, this this one will make life very easy. Okay, so I I love this feature of them. And beside that, uh, you can build it also. Okay, so you can build it easily. Okay, it means that when you want to ship, you don't need to only do this. Okay, so let me open another. Sorry, sorry. Uh, let me open another terminal. Uh, for example, uh, they have another command for Kikilak if I uh, start uh, uh, Kikilak. So he will he will build the he will build your template, and after he will build it, after that he put it in a Docker. He build the Docker everything, and even for example, you can select which uh, which version of the Docker you want to use and this kind of things. And after that he deploy it. Uh, he 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 uh, build the entire image, and after that, for example, he deploy it in the website or something. Uh, in a local house or something, and after that you can access it and see the final result, see whether you broke anything or not. Okay, so this one makes life very easy. This one will take an eternity. So this one I'm not suggesting it to use it for your normal development. 
for normal development, you can use a seed storybook, okay? Uh, but for before you finally ship it or you push it to the GitHub repository or something like that, definitely uh, use this one, okay? Because I have I have a case scenario that everything was gonna because I was modifying this one before, so everything was perfect. But the moment that I, for example, put it in a GitHub repository, I see that wow, nothing is working because I made a mistake. And in reality, although it was good in a storybook, uh, but it was not uh, building properly for the final uh, for, for the final uh, the package. And the final package was not built properly. So yeah, so this one will take an eternity. So we will come back later. So okay, so the next thing about Kickluckify that I like, actually it is open source. Okay, so it means that you can go um, even contribute or anything. And um, actually, I see that they have two good sponsors. Okay, so let me let let me check this one. Kickluckify. Okay, they are a paid sponsor. I think that they they are uh, they are they are somebody that I show you that their sponsors. They have two strong sponsors. So these things doesn't go any way, anywhere, any soon. So they are backed by somebody. Okay, so Zoom 2 and uh, Cloud IA. Uh, last time I checked both of them, both of them also were uh, doing um, Kick Lock stuff, you know, Kick Lock deployment and those kind of things. So yeah, so, and this is, and besides that also, this, uh, this guy have lots of contributors. Let me show you the contributors. Let's go to the GitHub page. Okay. If you see, you go to their GitHub page. Yeah, they have many, many contributors. Okay. And they, they, uh, they, uh, I, I, I saw them actually they, because uh, I'm using this one for a while. So the thing that it is is that uh, actually this one, this one is my version. So I'm, I'm customizing Kick Cloudify for Telvin and Chassis and. So you see from the day that I uh, take it, for example, it, I think it's almost three weeks ago. Okay, I think more than three weeks ago because uh, uh, I was back then I was, I modified it. So more, almost a month ago or two months ago, so they have 14 commits. Uh, so yeah, so the thing is updating. So it is not a dead project. Well, what, this is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's go back to the presentation. Yeah, okay. So. Simple project with a uh, code generation tools. Okay, so now in my version is a bloated version. What what I mean by bloated version? Uh, okay, let me open a new terminal. By the way, uh, by the way, this one is built also. So later I will show it. Okay. So what does it mean? It means that if you come uh, using the original terminal, okay, for example, original project, okay, there is no source in here. So now I have lots of uh sources in here you see i have a lot of pages okay so this one is all for example i customize them all okay but originally if you come to here uh, there is nothing there <laughs> so the mo so this is very good so because you don't get overwhelmed by so many pages and this is something i like about it like that so what you do okay so you said that okay how i customize the thing if the code is not there they give you some generation tools actually some cli commands so for example, you can two two of the commands is very important. Okay, actually in this mind map uh, that you see, I already you know, this is not only why you use Kickluckify. I overall summary all my experiences with the Kickluckify, and this one is also published in the internet, so it's open source. So this is why my mister. So I have an affiliation mark for uh, I have an affiliation link for my mister. If you subscribe, you will help me to don't die of hunger. <laughs> so <laughs> please stop. <laughs> please use my affiliation link. Uh, but uh, anyway, so in this mind map, um, I already shared all the problems that I faced with the Kickluckify. All the, for example, some of the pages, I explain everything. So some of the commands, uh, uh, it is uh, it is a cheat sheet. Okay, so you go later, you can go to the my mind map and look at this kind of thing. And by the way, if you go to my mind map, you can follow me on the my mister also. Okay, so yeah, okay, but never mind. Uh, so what you do is that. So you can use, for example, this uh, this command. So in this command, he will let you know that, okay, so which page you want to, for example, generate. Okay, so for example, error page. So the moment that you, for example, place the error page, he will come here and, for example, he create the error page for you. Okay, so this one, okay? But this is not the only command. If you see here, I have one error page, another one, a story, uh, errors, a story, right? 
So the other one, the errors story. Yeah, so this one, let's, let's. So they have another command for the generating the stories. Yeah, okay. So this one is for generating the stories. So he will, the same way that he generate that one, he do this, uh, the other one also. So yeah, it's pretty simple. However, the, there is a trick, okay? So you just generating them is not enough. You have to connect them as well. So the place that you connect them is in KC page. So in KC page, you will end up with a huge switch case that they say that, okay, so if, for example, you are requesting, for example, for this page, okay, load this component. If you're requesting for that page, so in, in, there is a switch page. If you want a in detail tutorial about how to wire up the thing, so uh, you let me know, but I'm just giving you a general overview. It is very simple to, uh, how to say that, uh, to use the tool. Uh, so this, this one is extremely easy. I find it very useful. So the next thing that I love about them, okay, uh, their documentation is amazing. So if you come to here and you go to their documentation, they have they documented the thing quite well. It means that it is better than my expectation. It is not empty documentation or something like that. So you can go and check what it is and this kind of thing. By the way, if you have any question regarding how to use this thing, uh, I'm playing with this thing for a very long time. You can ask me. Uh, so just l let me know in the comments. I can. I may be able to help you. Uh, so this one regarding this. Yeah. So let's go to the next thing. Okay. Uh, storybook test coverage. Okay. So this one is very important for. Me, okay. So if you come to the storybook, I, I I'm not sure you guys have. Uh, for example. Um, uh, have developed, for example, have uh, changed a uh, legacy code or not. But when you're changing a legacy code, so it is easy to change, but you don't know that, for example, you are creating a time bomb or not. So what what does it mean? It means that, for example, you ch uh, for example, you're changing something, but uh, in certain scenario, uh, the thing that you change, it mess up the code. So the good thing about the Kiktolakify is that they have a good coverage. I won't say that they cover all the cases, okay? It means that, for example, for something like login, they don't, uh, I don't say they cover the 100% of the conditions, but they are handling at least 70% uh, of the thing. Okay, uh, it's 50, 60, I think minimum 60% of the test case scenario, they are covering it. So in my own version, it means that in the one that I'm doing, okay, so I'm increasing the test coverage, okay? So this is the reason that you can look into it. Uh, I'm thinking to contribute to the tutorial. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I, I have to contact to them. and uh, Because uh, I find out, although I'm doing it for telling, but uh, my storybooks is, uh, what to say, uh, it is still back compatible to the original one. So I'm thinking to the additional storybooks that I did that give them the full coverage, just I contribute to the source. So, but uh, for this one, I need to, yeah, so I, I still need time because, yeah, so it takes time. So I have to start to get in touch with them. Yeah. Okay. So, but they have a good test coverage. Okay. So this one it was my uh, full presentation. Okay. So if you have any question, please let me know. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. And uh, by the way, I'm in Upwork. Uh, so if you need a freelancer to help you in your next project, uh, you can uh, contact me on Upwork uh, and maybe I can help you in your next project. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.